Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we created the project, we added some pages and also we created the route and we added the route inside the mind.js and in this video I'm going to create a separate file and add them in that file and here we can have more clean mind.js and also we are going to use with the lazy loading routes. So first let's go inside the source directory and I'm going to create a new directory here and I'm going to name it routes and inside here the index.js file. Here now we are going to import, I'm going to cut this from the mind.js and paste it here. So import the create router and the create web history and then we need to import the components we need to load when we visit the routes. Okay. Then also cut this from here and add it in our index.js file. And the last one is the import the cut this and paste it here. So we imported the create router and web history, imported the components we need, create the routes, create the router, and now we need to export the router here. So export as a default. And then in the mind.js, we can just import that router we have exported here and use in here. So just say import router from routes and we are okay. Now if we visit here, we need, we have failed to resolve import because we changed here. We was in the mind.js and we can just say dot to go to the dot slash to navigate to the views. But right now we are in the index.js, which is inside the routes. So we need to go up one level like this. And now let's save, come here and yeah, now it's okay. So if we navigate to the slash about, for example, yeah, everything works. And if we go to the movies, okay. Let's go back. And now we have created the index.js route. Here we are okay. Let's work with the lazy loading. So if I open the network tab and just refresh here, as you can see, we have imported the home view, about view and movies view, and we are in the home view. So it's, it's going to be better if we are navigating to the home, import only the home view. And when you have navigate to the about, import only the about. And when building application with a bundle, the JavaScript bundle can become quite large. So if we have uh, many components, many routes, and may, may affect the page loading time. Okay. So view router support uh, dynamic imports out of the, of the box, meaning you can replace the static imports with static imports with uh, dynamic ones. So for example, here, instead of something like this, we can say I'm going to create here a constant and I'm going to say uh, home. It's going to be equal with an anonymous arrow function. And this is going to import now that file. Okay, so import slash views slash home view. And now let's do the same thing for the, for the others. Uh, this is going to be for the about. 
and this is going to be for the movies. And let's, I'm going to just to comment out, comment this, and now, as it is, if we navigate here and let's inspect the elements, go to the network, and refresh. As we can see, we have imported only the home view. And if, if we navigate to the slash about, we have imported only the about. And if we go to the movies, we imported only the movies. And now if we go back to the home, yeah. Okay, that's it. Or you can just do uh, something like this. So for example, let's remove from here and we can say directly in here an anonymous function here and import the file in here so import views slash about and the same thing in in this one So import slash views slash movies and is the same. So let's save and let's go back. Let's clear this up and refresh. And as you can see, we have imported only the home again. And let's navigate to the slash uh, about only the about and of, of course if we go to the movies we have imported only the movies and in general it's a good idea to always use a uh, dynamic imports for all your routes now it's up to you what you like something like this or like this and also, if you see here, we have in the router, we have an option to add the history. We have here the create web history, or we can use a create web hash history. So let's say create web hash history. And we use, if we use that one now, let's copy and paste it here. And let's say if we navigate in the home page, as you can see in here, we have a hash. And if we navigate now to the movies, for example, let's go to the movies here. Also, we have hash. But I prefer web history. And that's it because uh, in the Vue.js, we have a single page application, so we just manipulate in the router here. Okay, friends, that's it about this video, how we can uh, use lazy loading and separate the logic of the route in the own file. And here, we just imported that route and we used here. Okay. I hope you enjoy and if you like, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and see you in the next one. All the best.